welcome back to my channel, Miss Crochet and Coffee here, and today we're here with another how-to video on how to iron your canvas. So, I found a canvas. It's not flat. It's a little wrinkle. Again, we all have wrinkles, let's not judge the canvas. Now, I wouldn't advise doing it with this type of paper on your canvas. So, we're gonna take this paper off. And a lot of people say use parchment paper. But since I don't have any parchment paper, we're gonna try this. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take our iron and I have it on the highest setting and I'm just going to do a quick stroke over it. This side's being a little tough. You don't want to apply a lot of pressure or anything to it. Just quick swifts right back and forth. All right, so then what we're gonna do is, because I only did half the canvas, because that paper, I only have half of it, people. I'm going on a budget here, people, and there's no parchment paper to be found where I live, so I have to order some offline, so. We're gonna get the other half of this in here, and just lightly go over your canvas back and forth and again my setting is on high and remember you're not ironing clothes you're ironing a canvas so don't sit there and leave it on there for two or three minutes and then wonder why it's not working right or it's burning it's not supposed to be it's not closed people again it's not closed all right so give me a few minutes i'm going to put the plastic back on it and then i'm going to show you the results all right and now that we have the plastic back on it nice and flat and you see a couple of wrinkles there and I just as easy as I did that it went away so you have a nice flat canvas want to try that again all right so and all I did was put the plastic back on it and just to show you it is super tacky still so let's try another canvas shall we let me go grab another canvas all right so here's another wrinkled canvas and I want to straighten it out as much as possible. So you grab my iron. Again, it's on the highest setting. It's on linen. And I'm just going to gingerly go back and forth. Remembering not to leave it in one certain spot for any long extended period of time. And before you put that plastic covering on, please, please let it cool down. Because if you don't, it'll be such a headache to get on it. So we're just going to go back and forth, and there's this one area right here that I want to focus on because there's a big bubble there. All right. Do you feel like you should go churn butter after this? I know I do. Ain't nothing get better than churning some butter. But it's cold outside. It's snowing today. So. Boom. You never want to actually iron this front part. But, as you can see, where you see some creases on the side a little bit because it's been folded for a while, for the most part, it is straight and easy for you to work on. It's not going to fold up on you. And there you have it. That's how I iron my canvases. Make sure you find some parchment paper. Or I like to use these strips, the uh, the not so the not clear covers. I don't know what to call them right now, guys. Give me get, my brain is mush. It's early, but I use these or parchment paper laid over the tacky part. And for those of you who are wondering about the sticky, it actually gets stickier, especially these these uh, kits from New Frog and Peggy Buy and Anybody. These kits actually 
from what I've seen, they actually get a lot stickier than they were before you iron them. So be careful to let it cool down. And then you slowly, very slowly, want to add your plastic back onto it now that it's cooled down. And I say slowly because if you put this on wrong, it's going to be a pain in the butt to get off. Please make sure you're not around any small children or pets whenever you're ironing so that they don't hurt themselves. And boom, there you go. Flat canvas. Now, it, not, it may not be perfectly flat on the back. You're going to still see some creases. This thing has been creased up for months. But it is flat enough that you can go ahead and start working on this, just like the first one we did. They're flat so that you can work on them. The back might not be perfect like this one, but... As long as you get it flat enough to work on so that you could then frame it and hang it as your piece, that is perfectly fine. Either way, this is it for me today. I'm Miss Crochet and Coffee. Hope the tutorial was helpful for you. If it was, please feel free to give it a thumbs up or give it a thumbs down at this point. I don't freaking care. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please put them down in the comment section below. My name is Miss Crochet and Coffee, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Bye.